Hello, my Yarny friends. The day has finally come. <laughs> Today we're going to make, or I'm going to show you how to make the Scrap Happy Chevron Blanket. This blanket is huge. I've been working on it for over a year now, and it is complete. And it's a great way to just add in new colors of yarn that are left over from your scrap projects and make this beautiful blanket. Look at all these colors. I've got solids, I've got variegateds, lots of different colors, and um, it's huge. The blanket that I made is huge. Now the pattern that I wrote is for a 35 wide inches by a 160 long inches, of course, but I'm also going to tell you how you can use those multiples to make the blanket the size that you are looking for. This can be a, bla a baby blanket, a dog blanket, um, a back of the couch blanket, which is what this is going to be. It's also a super warm blanket for beds. And um, you don't have to use your scrap yarns. You can make this in the exact colors that you want. It is made holding two strands of worsted weight number four, medium weight number four <laughs> yarns together. Okay, it's and it's I'm going to show you a super duper super easy way to make sure all of your edges are even as well. And it's something that I I've done for many many years because I love making chevrons. Okay? Now, this pattern um and all the pictures for it are going to be on the blog, of course, as always. And again, I will always put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. So what I do when I finish a project is I make these what I call crazy yarn balls. Okay, some of them like this one, I've got four strands together. Some of them like this one, I only have two. And I do it this way, that way if I'm doing something that has more strands or less strands, I'm all ready to go. But you don't have to do it this way. You can just wind all your scraps into individual balls or into cakes or something. Um, it works both ways. But I'm working on a blanket here, or I was, <laughs> that had two strands. And so I made a bunch of these that have two strands. And I was going to show you, when I come to an end of a color, I just make a knot. And then when I'm working on the blanket, I'll clip that and I'll work it in either with a magic, um, not a magic, I will use a Russian join or I will just uh, join it in and then weave it in later. Um, I have been known, don't tell anybody, it's a secret, but I have been known if I pull on the knot real hard and I know it's going to hold, I'll go ahead and stitch over it without doing anything when I'm making these big crazy blankets, okay? It's a great way to use up your leftover yarns. You go ahead and roll them into balls, whether you do these big crazy balls or you do small balls of yarn, it doesn't matter. Um, and then you set them all aside and then when you get a few minutes, you start working on your blanket, all right? Okay, so how much yarn are you going to need? If you make the pattern according to what I have written, you're going to need about 14 ounces or 744 yards, okay? And I'm using all acrylic medium weight number four yarns. Remember, when you're doing scrap projects, you don't want to mix your fibers because wool washes different than acrylic. Cotton washes different than acrylic. So you can divide your crazy balls into your different fibers and don't mix those up unless it's something that you want to do that way. All right. And so for this project, this is all medium weight number four acrylic yarn and it's all stitched holding two strands together. We're going to be using our L hook today and that's an 8.0 millimeter crochet hook. Um, it's not a real popular hook. You don't see it a lot, but it works perfect for this project because we want it to be a little bit snug, but we don't want it to be tight. We want it to be a little bit loose for, so the blanket lays pretty. So we're using eight millimeter L hook. 
And I've got a needle out here for weaving in ends because when you're using lots of different colors of yarns, of course you're going to do a lot of weave ins. And then of course a pair of scissors. So I'm going to be working off a swatch today. And how you can make your blanket wider is of course by using multiples. The multiples are 15 chains plus 14. And what that means is you're going to stitch in groups of 15 chains. And I recommend that when you do that, you chain 15, use a stitch marker, chain, chain 15, use a stitch marker. And then once you've done that, you're going to need to stitch an additional 14 chains. And then of course, for length, that just has to do with how many rows that you stitch. And two rows equal approximately two inches because we're using two strands of yarn and a big crochet hook. All right, so for our project today, you're gonna to want to stitch 74 chains. And with the trim we put on, it's gonna end up being about 35 inches wide and about 160 inches long. Now I'm just going to do a swatch. And since I'm only going to do a swatch today, I'm going to only chain 29. But you need to chain 74 chains. And I do recommend that you stitch this initial chain just a little bit loose. So I've made my slip knot and I'm going to chain 29. And remember, we're stitching our entire blanket holding two strands together. So once you've chained the amount of chains you need for the blanket that you're making, if you chained those 74 or you chained, chained additional or less because you're going by those multiples, you're going to have a nice chain. It should be nice and loose, not too loose where it's drooping, but we want it not to be tight. All right, so we're going to begin in the second chain from the hook. We don't count the loop, we count the first stitch in here, and we're going to stitch a single crochet. Now we're going to stitch five more. One, two, three, four, and five. And that's going to give us six single crochets. We begin in the second chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now in the next stitch, we're going to stitch three single crochets, all in the same chain stitch. So one, two, three. Now we're going to stitch one single crochet in the next six. Oops, make sure you get both loops of those chains or of that yarn. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. There we go. So we have six, then three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. That's our first chevron. Now we're going to skip the next two stitches and then you'll stitch one single crochet in the next six. One, two, three, whoops, there we go, four, and looky there, there's a knot. This is a swatch, so I'm just going to ignore that, but if it wasn't, I would come in and fix that. That's quite a big knot there. So we'll just pull that to the back. Let's see. Here's where we skipped. One, two, three, four. Five. Six. Okay, so here's where we skip those two. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that leaves seven stitches. All right, so I'm going to stitch three single crochets in the next. One, two, three, and then we'll end with one single crochet in the last six. One, two, three, 
four, five, and six. I'm going to go ahead and chain three. <clears throat> we can take a look at this. Now, I'm working off a swatch, and so I'm only going to have two points. Because you're working off a longer chain, you're going to have more points. If you stitched it with the 74 chains, you should have um, six points of chevrons. So we have two here, so you would have four more. Okay? Let me get my blanket so you can see what I'm talking about. So here is the actual blanket. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six chevron points. That's how it should look after row one. But remember, you have six chevron points. So at the end of row one, I had you chain three, but we're not going to chain three. I just did that so I could show you and not have my loops come undone. All right, so what we're going to do at the end of each row for the entire blanket, we're only going to chain one. Now we're going to turn our work and we're going to be stitching in the back loops only. Now when you look at your work, you can see there are loops on this side and loops on this side. We'll only be doing the loops that are away from you, which are your back loops. The first stitch we're going to stitch is stitching two double crochets together. So we're going to yarn over, we're going to go in the very first single crochet and pull up a loop, only going through the back loop only. And then we'll do the same thing in the next stitch. Go in the back loop and pull up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook. It'll look like eight because we're using two strands. Yarn over, go through the first three. Yarn over and go through the second two loops. So we've decreased by one. Now we're going to stitch one double crochet in each of those single crochets for the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. So that gives us six double crochets because we stitched the first two together. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And this brings you to the center of those three single crochets that we stitched in the same stitch and we're going to stitch three double crochets in that stitch. Still stitching in the back loops only, and we'll be stitching in the back loops only for the entire blanket. All right, so now this brings us to the next six stitches, and we're going to stitch one double crochet in each of the next six stitching in the back loops only. All right, let me count, make sure I've got my count right. So here's where we stitched our three. One, two, three, four, five. Whoops. Need to stitch one more. And see how that chevron looks? We've got six, three, and six. Dropping that hook. We're going to skip the next two and stitch one double crochet in each of the next six. four, five, and six. And again, this brings us to that center where we stitch those three single crochets and we're in that center single crochet and we're going to stitch three single crochets. One, 
two, three. All right, now <clears throat> we're going to stitch one double crochet in each of the next six. And what you'll do is you'll continue to repeat what you did here on this side for as many of your chevrons as you have because you want to always have six, three, six, skip two. Six, three, six, skip two on all of your chevrons. And when you get to the last chevron, you're going to stitch a double crochet in the next five. And that's going to leave two stitches unworked, okay? And we'll stitch those last two together. So again, yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, then we'll go on that last stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first three, yarn over, go through the last two loops, and chain one. All right? And this is the way that it will look. Let me grab my other blanket again. So you've stitched two double crochets together. We stitched five more, three in the center, six, skip two, and then you'll go six, three, six, skip two, and you'll repeat that across your chevrons until you get to the last one. Here's the three in the center. Then you'll stitch five and stitch the last two together like I did on this one. You'll still have six points on your chevron only I have two, of course, because I'm using a swatch. All right, let's do the next row. Chain one and turn. Again, we're working in the back loops only. Only on this row, we're stitching single crochets. So we'll go in that first single crochet and pull up a loop. Then we'll go in the next single crochet and pull up a loop. Again, working in the back loops only yarn over and go through all three of those loops. And then we'll stitch a single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five. Now this brings us to the center stitch of those three double crochets. So we're going to stitch three single crochets in that center stitch. One, two, three. Just ignore the knots. I'm not going to worry about them while I'm showing you this because this is a swatch. All right, now we're going to stitch one single crochet in the next six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we stitched the first two together. So that gives us six single crochets, all stitched in the back loop only, three in the center stitch, and then six single crochets. We're going to skip the next two double crochets and stitch one single crochet in the next six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That brings us to the center stitch of those three together. So we'll stitch three single crochets. One, two, and three. And then you'll continue to repeat this across stitching three, six, skip two, six, three, six, skip two, all the way across your chevron blanket. And then when you get to the last one, your last point of your chevron, you're going to stitch a single crochet in the last five. Again, always stitching in the back loop only for this blanket. All right, so here's my three. One, two, three, four, five and that leaves us two stitches. 
and we're going to stitch the last two stitching two single crochets together. So we'll go in, pull up a loop, go in that last one, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all three and chain one. <clears throat> so now we have our single crochet row all stitched in the back loop only and you're going to have six, three, six, skip two, six, three, six, skip two, all the way across until you reach that last chevron where we'll have our three, we'll have five, and then we'll stitch the last two single crochets together and chain one. And so now row four, we're just going to repeat what we did on row two. We've chained one, we're going to turn, we're going to stitch the first two together, and we're doing a row of double crochets, so yarn over, go in the first, pull up a loop, go in the next, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first three loops, yarn over and go through the last two loops. And again, the entire blanket is stitched in the back loops only. So now we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next five, one, two, three, four, five. So that gives us six because we stitched the first two together. All right, so now we're at those three in the center and in this center stitch, we're going to stitch three double crochets again in the back loops only. One, two, and three. Now we'll stitch one double crochet in the next six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I always check to make sure I didn't count wrong. So one, two, three, four, five, six, three in the center, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll skip the next two, one, two, and stitch one, double crochet in each of the next six. And you're gonna find this is gonna work up really quickly using this L hook and two strands of yarn it's going to make a nice thick warm blanket and it's going to stitch up quickly. Alrighty, so one, two, three, four, five, six brings us to the center of those three and we'll stitch three double crochets. One, two, three, <clears throat> and then you'll continue to repeat what we've done here, the three, six, skip two, six, three, six, skip two, until you've gone over all six of your points. And when you get to your last point, we stitch one double crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, whoops, get that other string in there, five. That leaves you two stitches and we'll stitch the last two double crochets together. And chain one. And this is a swatch of course, but this is how your row should look after row four. And so after row four, what you should be seeing is how that your rows are going to end up nice and straight going up the sides of your blanket because we're decreasing at the beginning and end of each row. You're also going to see that it makes a nice texture on both sides so that the pattern of the blanket is actually completely beautiful on both sides because we're stitching in the back loops only and it gives these beautiful ridges and the, like I said, it makes the blanket beautiful on both sides. All right, let's do two more rows just to make sure you understand 
what we're doing. So we chained one, we're going to turn. We're alternating single crochet rows and double crochet rows. So now we're going to do single crochet. So we're going to stitch the first two together. Then we'll stitch five single crochets. Again, stitching in the back loops only. So that brings us to our center stitch where we're going to stitch three single crochets. Now we'll stitch six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We'll skip the next two and stitch one single crochet in the next six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That brings us to the center of those three. And we'll stitch three. One, two, three. And then again, you'll repeat that across until you reach that last end of your last chevron. And we'll stitch five, one, two, three, four, five, which leaves us two stitches. And we'll stitch the last two together. chain one. So then we stitch a single crochet row. We chained one, we'll turn, and again you're going to have more chevrons because I'm just working off a swatch here. And we'll stitch the first two double crochets together, back loops only, because remember we're doing that on every row. There we go. And then five double crochets, again working in the back loops only. And I know I keep repeating that, but the back loops only is what gives this blanket its back and front reversibleness. And it looks beautiful on both sides. And I don't know if reversibleness is a word, but I like it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. There's six. <laughs> then we'll work our three double crochets in the back loop of that middle single crochet. And then we'll work six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And just to make sure, one, two, three, four, five, six. Skip the next two, one, two, and then double crochet in the next six. One, two, whoops, there we go, there's three, four, <clears throat> five, oops, and six. There we go. That brings us to the center of those three singles. And we'll stitch three double crochets. One, two, three. And then you'll repeat that across your chevrons till you reach your last one. And then we finish off with one double crochet in the last five, or the next five. And then that leaves us with two on the end. 
and we'll stitch the last two together. And chain one. All right, so now that's how it should look after row six. But of course, you're going to have more chevrons because your blanket is going to be much wider. But wouldn't that make a beautiful placemat? Or maybe just a small rug? I love this texture. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to continue to repeat row three and row four which is the single crochet and the double crochet, alternating every other row until it's the length that you want. Okay, always stitch the first two and the last two of every row together and you'll have those nice flat rows. Make sure you always put three in that center stitch and skip two in the bottom. Okay, this is going to give you a beautiful blanket that, like I said, with these back, stitching in the back loops only, looks just as beautiful on the back as it does on the front. The only difference is your, your single crochets will pop out on one side and your double crochets will pop out on the other. Both sides are gorgeous. Now, I know you noticed as I was stitching that there were some knots in there. I didn't want to worry about that while we were working on this, but there are several different ways that you can deal with those. And um, a lot of people like to use the Russian join, or you can just work those in and weave them in. Make sure you do take time to weave in all your ends, or, your, or it's going to be just a little bit messy. Now you can leave your knots. Sometimes I do, and I give them a good pull to make sure that they're not going to come undone. But I know a lot of crocheters, we do not tie knots, but if you feel more comfortable doing that, you do what works best for you. So if you want your blanket to be the size of the written pattern, you're going to need to continue repeating row three and row four, which is the single crochet, double crochet rows, alternating every other row for an additional 72 rows. But you don't have to stop there. If you made your blanket wider, you may want it longer. You can continue to repeat those rows for as long as you would like. Like I said, this blanket that I made is huge and I worked on it for over a year. It's big, it's bulky, and I love it. And you can see all the crazy colors that I have in there. Once your blanket is the size and length that you want, all I did is I did a evenly single crochet row up the sides and then did an additional single crochet across the top and across the bottom. <clears throat> and you can see I still have a few ends I have to weave in on this one. So to single crochet evenly down the sides can be a little bit confusing, but it's really quite easy. What you want to do when you're working with rows, some are single, some are double, or whatever, you want to make sure that you stitch in the sides of the stitches and not the holes, and it will look much neater. Don't go in this hole. It will make a big gaping hole. Instead, go in the side of the stitch and just evenly single crochet down the side. Just go through those stitches. Work all the way down the side there we go it just gives it a much neater appearance in my opinion now there might be a place where you feel you need to put it in a hole that's okay it's not gonna hurt anything all right when you get to that corner chain one and go right in that next stitch and you're just gonna follow those stitches across the bottom <clears throat> and just stitch a single crochet in each of those stitches then you'll work back up the top and make sure you chain one in each of the corners so that it turns nicely and then when you get to the to the complete other side over here you'll just follow your stitches and then once you reach back over here you'll just join to that first single crochet and tie off 
and it just makes a nice uh, even row around. Now you can add more rows around if you want to. I just like doing the one. I think it looks nice and neat. And so basically for the trim, we're just stitching a single crochet evenly, working all the way around all four sides of our blanket. So now I have evenly stitched all the way around all four sides of my blanket with just an even row of single crochet just to, you know, trim it off. And again, if you want to add another row, you certainly can. I just didn't feel like it was needed, but remember, you do what you like and do what's best for you. I am already totally in love with this blanket. It's warm, it's cozy, it's perfect for camping, for having um, on your bed, I mean on your couch, anywhere you need a nice, warm, cozy blanket. And I love how all the different, different colors I've got sparkle in here, variegated, and lots of different combinations of colors. There's some ombre in there, striping yarns, just all mixed up. Here's some bit more variegated. How it all works up together. And this is a super easy pattern. And I wanted to do the chevron because everybody keeps telling me that they can't do the chevron. And using this pattern, you'll be able to do the chevron. It's super easy. And again, go to the uh, link that's in the notes underneath this video to that blog because it has all the measurements it has your multiples and all of that information that will help you make a blanket the size that you need all right like i said any size will work i just wanted a great big blanket